Storm Center coverage continues here at the Weather Network. We're talking wind and we're talking snow. First of all, Calgary yesterday, finally a decent amount of snow, about six centimeters at the airport. Dogs just love snow, but you had to get out, get out the snow shovel, the snow blower, whatever the case may be. Driving in it is, oh my goodness, it's that first snowstorm that always means we got to go back and renew our skills, right? And it wasn't just in Calgary, of course, around Metro Vancouver. This is Port Moody. All right, well, we're concentrating on this big Texas low, rain on the east side of it, snow on the northwest, and also a rapidly developing storm on the Pacific Ocean. And not to be outdone, we still have this stubborn storm on the east coast, but uh, I wouldn't call it stormy, but I would certainly call it stormy into the portions of the prairies. Four degrees in Winnipeg, minus four in Regina. So that temperature contrast depends what side you're on. Are you getting rain today or are you getting snow? As you get into western Manitoba, that rain changing to freezing rain and snow through the morning continues through the afternoon afternoon. Some point this evening that rain will change to snow around Winnipeg and the Red River Valley. Oh, nope, the wind or the uh, snow part me in Regina tapers off through the overnight, uh, but strong winds through Wednesday morning for both Saskatchewan and Manitoba could be some residual blowing and drifting snow. Northern Manitoba, the snow is not going to finish for you in northern Saskatchewan until likely Thursday. 20 to 40 centimeters of snow for you. 20 to 30 centimeters possible in the higher ground in southwestern Manitoba. Lesser amounts for Winnipeg and Regina. You're on either end of that storm, but for Winnipeg, it's rain today, snow tonight, tomorrow, and Regina. Well, it's snow, but the snow has been continuing since last night. Should ease off by tonight. Thunder Bay, a wet, windy day in your forecast, and the cold air, minus double digits for a spell this week in Edmonton and Calgary. The source of that air coming from anywhere from Great Bear Lake westwards, where you've got minus 20 and minus 30 as daytime highs. All right, let's get to our storm system in the Pacific. This is a rapidly deepening storm. It's what's called a bomb cyclone, and that term is used when the barometric pressure drops at least 24 millibars within 24 hours, and this one will easily do that. In other words, it's when a little storm becomes a big storm in a hurry. And the featured uh, ingredient with this will be the wind. Very strong winds in excess of 100 kilometers per hour, likely on outer Vancouver Island, up to 790 to 100 kilometers for inner Vancouver Island. And we'll be watching that for uh, potential power outages. Ferry crossings could be certainly uh, subjected to cancellations tomorrow morning. So this is really tonight through tomorrow morning the strongest of those winds, so prepare for that. On the east coast, it's still this lingering low pressure system, bringing periods of rain, at times gusty winds. Across the west, there's the rain in northwestern Ontario. Some showers possible today in southern Ontario, largely after the big rally for the Grey Cup champion Toronto Argos. It will be mostly cloudy, but tomorrow, probably a better chance of more widespread rain. That gets into Ottawa and Montreal into Thursday. You'll get into your periods of rain as well. And note, not a lot of sunshine across the east coast not this week. Now in terms of rain, it's not a whole lot in the south. The heavier amounts are northwestern Ontario, but it's enough for today and tomorrow. And on the east coast, periods of rain, not quite as much though, thankfully, as last week. You were well over 100 millimeters of rain in Newfoundland last week. This week, it's maybe about half that.